G'day and welcome to some more Little Alchemy. This time I'm going to make a supernova and it is a little complex. Ah, if I can get this zoom right. There we go. It's a little complex again. Um, for a change, we're going to start down here because this bit here is basically what you would expect the supernova to be made of. So if we go steam plus air, make the cloud in the air, gives us the sky. And then how do you make a supernova if it is not a sky explosion? So you'd think adding these together would make it, but they don't. We have to do all this whole other thing. So let's start up in the corner like usual. So air and water makes rain on the earth, makes a plant. And like usual, we're going to need plant in the mud to make the swamp. And energy to the swamp to give us life on earth, to give us the human. And they don't want to mix together. There we go. So lava in the air, in the fire, to get the metal for the human, to make the tool, a tool in the earth, gives us a field. And let's just add these together. I'm not going to use these till a little later. So we've got the plant on the earth to make the grass. And that's going to get added to this earth over here eventually. So we need to jump back up here really quickly. No, I'm not doing a long press. Go away. All right. So the rain on the earth gives us another plant. That plant in the mud gives us the swamp, which we're going to add energy to again. And this life on Earth gives us the human, who we now add with the field to make a farmer. We'll just leave him there for a little later. And then back over this side. Keeps thinking I'm doing a long press because uh, with the thing running, it goes a bit slow. All right, more rain on earth. We need another plant. This plant we just add to this mud. Gives us a swamp to which we will add energy. And this gives us life with the farmer to make the livestock. The livestock which eats grass is the cow. So it's the first sort of main bit. So if we jump back up the top here again, Air plus water makes rain. And rain makes plant. Want another muddy plant. Which of course is the swamp. More swamp energy. Gives us life on earth. Gives us human. And then, I don't know if you recognize this bit here from before. Lava. Cool it down to make stone. Set it on fire to make metal. Metal plus a human is a tool, which we use in Earth to make a field. And then back over this side to do the other usual stuff again. Mud, plant, swamp. Oh, you're not straight on the Earth. Um, that to give energy in the swamp to make life on Earth. It's another human. Now this human in the field makes the farmer. This farmer with the cow gives us milk. So we're getting a bit closer. Um, where should we leave this one? Leave them down here for now. I want to uh, zoom in a bit further. How far can we go? We can go to about 75%. Okay. So where are we up to? Earth and fire makes lava. In the air makes stone. Stone in the air makes sand. And then back over this way, lava stone metal if you add metal to energy you get electricity electricity with sand gives us glass now this glass we need to add to some more sand so lava air air sand and glass gives us the hourglass that we don't need plus the time now milk left out for too long gives you cheese and you wonder what cheese has to do with the supernova. Well, it's coming up now. So cheese in the sky is the moon. Come back over this way. Lava plus air is stone plus air is sand. And similarly, lava and the stone gives us metal. Need to add energy to the metal to give us electricity. Electricity plus sand gives us glass. 
and then back over to the lava, stone, sand, plus glass. Again, we don't need the hourglass. We're just looking for the time that we see the moon, which is night. The night sky has a star and a star explosion is a supernova, which is an endoline, which is why it's underlined. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I hope to see you again soon with something a little bit different. See you later.